In this marketing minute, we will be creating a short 30 second video using just PowerPoint, royalty free music and royalty free video footage. Take a look. Okay, we will be using PowerPoint and then two website sources to create our video. And you can see on the back end that it looks pretty messy, but I will show you step by step how to build the 30 second video and then save it as an MP4 that you can use on Facebook or any of your social channels or your website. So let's get started. We'll start with a blank PowerPoint, just a regular clean screen. And then we're going to go over to Pixabay and pick our free video. So once you get to pixabay.com, where it says images, go down and select videos. Now we wanted this video to be about one day of working for our nonprofit, so we thought a sunrise would be good. So we just simply typed in sunrise, and it will bring you up several different options at different video links. And so here's the one that we chose. So you'll click on the video that you want, and then you'll see that there's a free download. We didn't want to choose a video that was too large because we want it to show easily on our website and other channels. So we went ahead and chose the 960 by 540 and then downloaded the file. And we'll go in and save that file to a folder where we know we can find it. I just opened it here and chose show in folder. And then I moved it over to a folder where I knew it would be for later. So then I'll go back over to my blank PowerPoint screen and I want this screen to match the size of the video I downloaded. And so I'll click design in the menu and then slide size and then custom size. And so the video is in pixels. We can go back over and see what the size is. It's 960 by 540 in pixels. So that's what size I want to make my screen. And I just go down here to width and I type in 960 and then a PX and PowerPoint will convert that to inches and then 540 and a PX and PowerPoint will convert that to inches as well. And then I just simply click OK. And so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is inserting that video. So I want to go over to home and then in, I'm sorry, go over to insert. And then right over on your right, you'll see audio and video. We want to insert the video first and it's on my PC. I know where it is. So I'll go ahead and find it and insert it. And it should fit very nicely right into the field. And so here's the video. And now it's time to start creating my text overlays. And so I had my messaging written out. And so I'll just go ahead and start creating those. And so it's just a matter of selecting insert from the menu and then a text box. And for now you can put it anywhere. So my first message, text message that comes up is what a difference a day makes. And I want to make it white and then size 40 and you can play around with colors that work for you in your video. And I'm going to put it down here where I know that I'm going to be able to see it. So now I want to add the animation for this. So I choose animations and I want this to fade in. So it's just going to slowly appear. I want to find my animation pane so I can see what I'm working with. I want this to happen with the previous as soon as the movie starts, I want this to start. So I'll type in with previous and then I'll go and select the effect options. I want it to disappear after it, the animation. So it doesn't stay up the whole time. So on my duration, I want it to take about five seconds to really 
up here and give people time to read it. So I'll, right under duration, I'll type in 05.00. And then because this is the first thing to come up, I might delay it just half a second so that I see the movie first and then I see the words. And so you can test this by just playing all and it'll show you what you have so far. And so that's what the video looks like so far. So we're going to continue adding our next text. So the next text that I wanted was something about the meal served. We're pretending that this is for a homeless coalition and they serve over 400 hot meals served to the homeless. And so again, I'll make sure that it's white that the size is about a 40 and you'll change this to match. And I've watched the video, so I know that it's really dark down in this area. So I'm going to keep my text in this area and I'm going to have it go back and forth from one side of the screen to the next. So it's time to make sure that I do the animation for this text block. So I'll choose animations, we'll fade in, we'll have it start after the previous words are gone. The duration will be 05.00, so that's five seconds. So that's that one. My next text, insert text, is we logged 62 volunteer hours logged. So we're gonna promote that. And this is basically a video all about the impact that we're making in just one day. I'll set up my animation again, fade in, start right after the previous, 0 0.5.00 seconds. We're ready to go. Okay, it starts to get a little messy, but it looks great at the end. So in this text box, this is my last impact statement, 5,050 pounds of donated food received. So then I have my final two, oh, I forgot to do my animation. Let's get back over there. Have this one fade in after previous 0500. And it's probably a good chance, good time to go ahead and play all and see what that looks like. Make sure it's looking good. And there's no music yet. We're going to do that at the very end. I can see a mistake. I forgot to hit select to dim after and so you can see when you're making mistakes what to happen what can happen so i'll stop it i want to go through every single one and make sure on my effect options that i have it dim after animation otherwise it's going to stay up and you can see what that looks like not very neat so hide after animation And so to do that, just so you know, I selected, I select the little box to the right, I choose effect options, and under the effect tab, I select hide after animation. And so that way, once the text appears, it will hide after it has made its appearance. So I'll insert my last two fields of text. This one I'm going to put at the top. And I'll make sure that it stretches in just two lines. So I'll put it up here at the top. It doesn't look good now, but I know that it's pretty dark up there at the end of the video, so it'll work fine. And you can watch the video and test all of that. So my last 
I'm going to do my animation for this last word. I'll have it fade in. Choose after previous effect options. We want it to dim or hide after animation. Put this back where it goes. And then our final one is insert text and it's our call to action. And this should really be when I'm using this on Facebook or um, another social media, I will encourage them to click the link above and I'll put a link in my post and that will kind of draw them right over to the website and there I might ask for a donation or share more information about the topic of the video. And so here my call to action is click on the link in the video and see us in action. And so my thought is I'm going to get them over to the website and I'm going to have a landing page dedicated for this particular social media post. And that way they can get over to our website, see us in action, and hopefully sign up for our newsletter or make a donation. And just for, I'll do my, before I do the animation on this, I'm going to insert an icon. I always like to do some kind of something nice that really shows the spirit of a nonprofit. So I chose a heart and then I can change the color of the heart to red and shrink it down to fit right next to this. So with this, this is just a little bit of extra work on this last statement. We'll select it. We'll choose our animations. Fade in after previous. And I might not make this take the whole five seconds because I want it to pop up pretty fast and stay there longer. And I know my video is only 30 seconds long, so I don't know where I'm really at with time. So I might make this one just be two seconds. And then I'm going to choose Don't Dim because I want it to stay up through the end of the video. And this heart, I want it to come up at the same time. So I will have it also fade and also take the same amount of time, two seconds. But instead of after previous, I'm going to say start with the previous. And so here's our video without music. I'll just double check everything. All right, so I'm having some issues. We need to go back and see what's happening with this. The all in a day's work, I probably didn't select start after previous. I'll make sure that I'm dimming right after animation. Okay, so everything looks set up. So I'll go back up to here and play it again just to double check. So that looks great. So it's time to add our music. So the site that I use is called bensound.com, B-E-N-S-O-U-N-D.com, and he has great little clips of music. If it's longer than the 30 seconds, that's fine. The one that I used was this Acoustic Breeze, so you just download it to your computer. He does require attribution, so within the post, I will put at the bottom of the post music provided by Ben Sound and link to his website. So I just download his music. You could also do it in the credits of the video if you wanted. And then I save this to the same folder. And then I go over to 
my video and I'm going to just simply insert it. So I go to insert in the menu path and I insert audio and I go find this audio on my PC, which here he is. I simply insert it. And there's a couple of things I want to do with regard to this. It automatically comes up to your playback field. So I want to play it in the background. I want it to play across all slides and I want it to start automatically. It also chooses um, hide during show. And so let's play and see what this looks like. So it looks great. So my only steps left are to first save it as a PowerPoint in case I want to make any changes. So I'll go in and save it as a PowerPoint and call it whatever I want it to be, demo. And then I'm going to save it as a movie, an MPEG. And that will make it possible to upload it to anything. File, save a copy, and then I'll go down and choose MPEG-4 video. You can retitle it if you want. You can upload this to Vimeo, YouTube, and embed it in your web pages, or you can upload it right to Facebook and embed it from there. But once you're saving it, you'll see a little bar down at the bottom that's not quite showing. And when it's finished, you're ready to upload it to whatever social channel or marketing channel you want. So that's how to create a video with PowerPoint using Pixabay free video footage and Ben Sound royalty free music.